Good morning guys. It's 5 a.m. And I am up again for my medical morning and I'm gonna start it. Pretty soon here, just need to get changed and then go through it and start my affirmations in silence and visual visualization and reading and scraping and then uh, drawing. So I just downed a glass of water and I ate it so I'm having a little bit of trouble. Um, breathing. <coughs> Gonna have a coffee now though to kind of re-stimulate my jaw. Good medical morning to you. I'm Amanda and we are here to talk about the medical morning, obviously. If you haven't heard what it is, I will link some stuff in the description below so that you can go and see and find out websites and videos and stuff. And I decided to do it. I decided to start it. So I'm putting this on this channel because I do believe that it does kind of relate a lot to art and my life and I wanted to make sure that you guys saw it because I think that will help a lot of you guys. I had no idea what the medical morning was. I've seen a couple of people while I've been dabbling in bullet journaling like years ago even when in 2016 I was looking at bullet journal videos and people were talking about the level 10 life and medical morning and all this stuff and I thought that it was just something that people did like they just had this blissful morning and they called it a miracle I don't know I wasn't sure but I came across a couple more other people talking about it on YouTube and I decided to google it and found that it was by this guy called Hal Elrod and he made this book uh, about his experiences it's a very good read definitely recommend it but I don't have it with me because I read it on it was digital but it's very good and he does repeat himself a lot but I think the reason he does that is because you need to get it into your head. Since my bullet journal video I have updated the way that I do my bullet journal now and it looks more like this. Instead of the rigid thing that you've seen before it, lo it now looks more like this. So there's little journaly parts in here and there's also to-do lists. And just things, notes and little things that I need to remember. I changed my mood tracker. Um, I rewrote my habit tracker. And I uh, did my monthly spread like this instead of just the block thing. I just think that that would make me more um, better. And then the rest of the pages are just the same. But I also took out the daily doodle spread and the daily blurb spread because I was going to be doing it like this I thought I could do a daily doodle or a doodle if I wanted to or a 
a little blurby bit in there and I also stopped the blurbs because I knew that I was going to be getting another book journal thing and writing in this during my medical morning so let me just go through a couple of things about the medical morning that you guys might want to know about I wrote down in this book well first of all I actually wrote down notes from the actual book in my bullet journal I wish I did it in here now but um I wrote down in this book the medical morning and what my medical morning would look like so there's six savers savers I thought it was saviors but it's not it's savers so it's basically just this thing that um Hal made up and with the help of his wife uh that gets you thinking about what you need to do so the first save R is S for silence so you can meditate you can think you can just sit in silence you don't have to do anything there's silence it's great uh, and you can do that for five minutes you can do it everything however long you want it to be um, but he does give you like a little guide on how to get started and stuff like that then the A stands for affirmation and when I heard this I was like no I am not going to sit there and tell myself that I'm beautiful but the way that Hal talks about it is that he says that you've got to do um, you've got to do the what you want in life why you want it and how you're going to get it so I wrote down my what I want in life and how I'm going to do it in different sections so I wrote down um, health fitness, emotions, finances, career, home life, relationship and family. So home and family are different to me because my home means my actual house, the thing that we live under um, and or in, sorry, and the family means my actual family members. So I wrote down a little paragraph about those. I'm not going to share them with you. If you want to know what exactly what I said, then I did post a uh, vlog a couple of weeks ago that you can check out uh, because I literally talked more in depth about it there but I just wanted to talk about it here a little bit just so that you guys can um, get the gist of it I don't want to go on and on because I tend to ramble it's already been five minutes okay let's go so the first thing that I do uh, when I wake up at five o'clock in the morning and I've only did this once by the way guys um, so hopefully tomorrow and the next day and the next day I'm gonna do it. It's a challenge, okay? A 30 day challenge. I've started it. Um, I woke up at quarter to five this morning, got out of bed, brushed my teeth, went to the kitchen. Uh, sorry, no, I did my skincare routine before I went to the kitchen. Uh, so I, I woke up, uh, brushed my teeth, did my skincare routine and then I went to the kitchen and I drank a whole glass of water as, as fast as I could, as comfortably as I could. Um, and then I came through into this room and sat on this seat that I'm sitting on now. And I did five minutes of silence where I just didn't think about anything, didn't like meditate or anything like that. I just sat in silence with my water and I just drank my water in silence for five minutes. Um, then I did the affirmation so basically uh, because I only started this yesterday I um, wrote down my affirmations and what I wanted out of them instead of just reading them usually you will read them um, so that usually would only take you five minutes but it took me about um, it took me about half an hour so then I skipped reading but um, you read and I've decided to read for 15 minutes at 5.45. Um, Self-help he self books or articles that might help you achieve your goals. Um, which I think is a really good thing. I wasn't going to do any of this. I was just basically going to get up in the morning a little bit earlier so that I could draw more. But I've decided not to. Not to do that. Um, I've decided to actually try and see if these practices work for you guys so that you can try them too if you want. And then the next thing is scribe. Um, so S for silence, A for affirmation, R for, uh, V for visualization, visualization, um, R for 
saver. E for exercise, R for read and S for scribe. I've skipped and missed out things because I've rearranged the order that I do them in. Um, so next I scribe, which is journal basically. So I wrote in my journal for 15 minutes here. I just wrote a page and then later once I came back from the gym I wrote a little bit more. Um, so I wrote a page in my journal just talking about how the day had went for me and my first line of my journal entry is this is crazy I am up at 5 a.m. I have already had a shower done my skincare routine brushed my teeth drank a full glass of water wrote and read my after affirmations and visualized my future oh I also made a coffee and have been sipping it all morning too I've done the dishes and I've also put on two loads of laundry I am an hour in, I took a little longer to do affirmations because I had to think about them and write them all down first. And then I go on to explain how I'm feeling and stuff like that. So, first impressions are good. Anyway, after that I've decided to dedicate some time to drawing. I've put down 15 minutes just now because I wanted to do yoga but I think that drawing for me is more important so I think I'm gonna do 25 minutes of drawing rather than 15 because those 15 minutes went in so fast um, and Caden woke up about uh, woke up at about 6 30 so um, I was just kind of drawing while he was watching tv and then at 6 40 I am going to clean um, like I said I did two loads of laundry and the dishes and hang out like hung laundry and stuff like that um, and that took me about 20 minutes. Uh, I put the washing machine on as soon as I woke up. Um, and then at seven o'clock I start my day and get Caden ready for school and do the work runs and the school runs. And then at 8.30 I go to the gym for an hour. And then when I come back from the gym, I eat breakfast. So, and then I get started on whatever else I need to do that day. So that's my current um, schedule. This will probably most likely develop and change as I develop and change and evolve. Um, but I think that it's really good and I want to do a little bit of a extra long video for you guys just now because I want to record and film um, myself as I go through doing it. So it's going to be more of a vloggy vlog than a sit down, talky, show you art vlog. It is currently... 19 minutes past one and I feel, I still feel great, I still feel um, energised, I still feel awake, I don't feel tired. Um, I got a lot, lot of other stuff done uh, after I did my miracle morning, so I did um, edit videos and upload videos and uh, voiceover videos um and all of that fun stuff so i hope that you guys enjoyed it tell me if you've tried the miracle morning if you haven't tell me why not and if you are planning on trying it then uh tell me as well because it will be great for us to support each other and to go through this journey together again i'm doing it for 30 days so i need to stop on the 6th of november December, the 6th of December, but I'm not going to stop, like that's that's the end of the challenge, um, but I'm hoping that after December I still continue it because I love this, I love the feeling of getting up in the morning, nobody's awake, it's really dark outside still, you put on all the lights, you get cosy and you do the stuff that you want to do that you don't have time for during the day um, and you could watch the sunrise if you want as well which is awesome. I love the sunrise. So yeah, that's what I've got to say just now. Hi guys, welcome to my messy kitchen. I just wanted to kind of wrap this video up and give you my thoughts on the miracle morning. Um, this is my fourth day and I have been to the gym three times. I have sorted all my morning routine out. I have been feeling a little bit unproductive, especially yesterday. I didn't go to the gym yesterday and I felt really unproductive and tired uh, the whole day and I nearly fell asleep at four o'clock uh, in the afternoon. So um, I powered through it, managed to go to bed at about nine, fell asleep for about 10 and got up at five o'clock again and just tried to start my day again. And I felt really, really 
inspired and motivated today so I think that this is going to be a good thing for me if you want updates on my whole journey um, I can post a maybe like a medical morning vlog a week or something um, just to show you guys what's going on and uh, like I said I plan to do it for 30 days for the challenge and then continue it after that as well um, obviously I'm planning on getting all the benefits out of Medical Morning which includes sorting your life out I'm mainly doing it for my business sake I can't say that I have a business right now but I'm definitely trying to build an art business so um, hopefully I will be able to achieve my goals and if I do then I'll tell you if I don't then I'll tell you so thank you so much for watching this video I know it was a little bit different so I hope that you don't mind I do plan on doing regular studio vlogs as well um, but yeah that's the video I guess so again love you guys and hit the notification bell to get notified of all the videos that I post I'm planning on upping my video amount soon so look at <laughs> pardon me look out for that and i'll see you in my next video bye guys